How's it going, YouTube? Welcome to the Cosmic Ray channel. I am your host, Cosmic Ray. Uh, today, I would like to talk a little bit about slightly little story time with Cosmic Ray, slightly a little bit of uh, other things uh, as well. Um, what I, I'm, if you haven't already seen my video, um, I have previously have a video out there regarding about dreams, about where they kind of come where dreams and ideas or thoughts kind of come from and how um, they may be coming from not just um, like just what we see in everyday life of subconscious things of you know or of anything that we've had like maybe some ex bad experiences or stress or you know maybe anxieties or depression or just thoughts from everyday life pretty much um, but also too like they also can come from like your higher self like something you may be channeling while you're sleeping something maybe from your spirit guides actually that you know it could it can be something that's even from prolific uh, information or something divine that could be channeled to you as well as something that's like an entity or even your angels um, or even possibly you know extraterrestrial or aliens or what I like to call the outline people um, as well and um, today it's kind of almost like a, or tonight it's kind of like almost like a follow-up uh, of some sorts. And uh, what I wanted to talk about was um, I had this uh, conversation with um, some people in my past. And we were talking, and I'm, I kind of slightly hinted this before in a different video. So if you have ever heard of this and kind of where I'm going with this, you know, that's okay. Um, but I just want to kind of share for those of you who haven't. Um, there's one thing that kind of just... Um, I don't know, it's been just coming back to me. It just keeps coming back. So I just wanted to share this. Um, you know, when you're dreaming, you know, and for someone who's had like night terrors and just horrible dreams, and someone who's actually done a shamanic journey uh, also, and you know, I've been able to see past lives. You know, I've been able to go back into time, if you will, and see certain events that happen from a third person perspective like I'm, I was like only viewing things not that I can like change things or really alter stuff it's only more of like altering my future because I'm knowing stuff about my past you know I always feel like you can always benefit from your past so that you can um, you know learn from it of course but you know you can do obviously you know use that information for for here and now and hopefully in the future you know if, if it will um, um, but uh, you know, I, I've been able to do that, so I can confidently confidently say that you know, when you're asleep and dreaming, you know, when things are bad, you know, do your best to just change the dream. Um, I don't know if that's kind of like easier said than done. Usually for me, once I realize that I'm in a dream, you know, it's more of like being an artist with a blank canvas. You know, you can paint whatever you want. Whatever you're inspired, you know, is basically is all you're waiting for, is that inspiration comes, so you can put whatever you want on that canvas. You know, in my dream or in your dream, you, know, you are that creator. You are that one who can manipulate the dreams, you know, to to at your embedded at your wills that you are the ones. And I always say about you know don't you know do control in spirituality you know or in life, but in your dreams that's different, you know, especially when things are going you know, um, like something's afoot, you know, or something's like gone awry or something. Um, you know, a lot of things have happened, you know, to me where I, I've been in really bad, horrible cases in dreams. And I've been able to make changes to my dreams. And I didn't realize I was different, you know, until I had this conversation with these people in the past. And, and I realized I mean, I knew I was slightly different from before, but this, you know, my adult self, you know, kind of having one of those, you know, when you need like the, when you have like a great idea and something so prolific, something just so out there that someone else tells you the same thing and they're like, that's a great idea. And they totally feel you and you respect this person a lot. And you're like, wow, it just kind of like adds to it, you know, to what you were thinking. Not like what you're thinking was horrible in the first place. It just kind of just adds to it to like, yeah, I'm, I'm more confident now. Um, well, you know, they were talking about flying. And I was like, what, what do you mean you guys flying? No one fucking flies. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, you can't fly. And then they're talking about flying, you know, in dreamland. And I was like, oh, like, well, duh. <laughs> in a sense, like, I, 
I do that all the time. Like, what, what, are you, what are you talking about? What do you mean? And they're talking about as if it feels like a memory, you know, as if they don't do that anymore. Like, oh, do you remember when you used to be able to fly? Like, oh, it's been a long time, but I remember when I was flying. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I fly all the time. And, like, you know, I, I make changes to, you know, my my dream. You are the, you know, you are that creator. You're the one who can do and manipulate and say and do anything in your dream. You know, you are that person can change reality. You, know, you are a reality manipulator in your dream. You know, it's like you are that I don't know, superhero, you know, person, you know, that, you know, that can save the day. And it was something that just, I don't know, just popped out at me when they were talking about it. And I was like, well, what are you talking about? Like, of course you can, you know, dream and do so many things. Like, why, why, why couldn't you? You know, why can't you? And, and these people were all, um, these people are very highly respectable, you know, in my community and, you know, even my, my uh, Buddhist practice and just in general, just life, you know, um, a lot of them are, are very like a spiritual type people. And one of them, you know, was you know, the way he was explaining, you know, things to me about the dream and how I said it. And I didn't mean to be rude. Like when I, when I said what I said was, it's cause I didn't get it. I was like, well, yeah, that's obvious that you're in a dream. Like, well, why can't you? And then I realized not everyone can. And, and it just blew my mind. And if you're just someone like they're like, well, yeah, Ray, you know, Cosmic Ray, I, I, I agree with you. You know, why, why couldn't you change? Well, uh, you're also different too. You know, you might be someone like me. You know, you might be someone who has a special or unique type of gift that not a lot of people have. You know, you know, I had a lot of friends in my past, you know, I usually surrounded myself with many friends and over the years, you know, some of them, you know, like your true friends kind of stick with you, the ones that you don't care about are, are gone. But, you know, I've had many conversations this is what I'm trying to talk about is that, you know, of all the things you talk about, favorite color, favorite band, favorite whatever you want, favorite movies you guys watch together, favorite moments in your lives, things that you do to inspire each other, to have times where you cry, sometimes where you see each other at your worst, sometimes see each other at your best, and those great moments. Sometimes you don't talk about dreams, you know, or at least you, you know, maybe not talk about is like how often you fly. And if you're someone right now who's listening to this, you're like, well, yeah, of course you can change this. Well, I, I think that you're different too. I don't, you know, you have to really know that. And if you didn't already know that, you, know, you, you, you gotta know that now that you are someone different because this is your opportunity and my opportunity to talk kind of in a sense, I know conversing is usually between two people, you know, but you know, I, I feel this is the, that moment for me to be able to say it to you that, you know, maybe you are different. Maybe you are someone that's like an urban shaman like myself, or maybe you're just maybe a Hyokan empath or just an empath, or just maybe someone who's able to be a manipulator or reality manipulator in your dream or reality warping type of, you know, thing. And, um, and why I say that, you know, it's, like I said, it was something that I've just been feeling like it's been guiding me lately. It's just been circling back every, every moment in my life for like, I don't know how long now, for months, um, and like every day for months. And I just didn't know how to really put it in a video until I was like, you know what, I'm just going to just do it. So, um, you know, just with that being said, you know, when you are in your dream, if you have having troubles, I always remember something that I remembered in uh, that movie Hook. And, you know, I always say movies are something that, or like gifts for us to help us with those ideas, help us with those ways to kind of communicate spiritually. Because like I feel like for me that I used to be a visual person so much that I had to see something like this. So you know whoever was able to channel that through their perspective and be able to see certain movies, you know like in Peter Pan you know, or Hook, um, where they would say, you know, in order to fly you need to sprinkle you know that that pix you know fairy pixie dust. You know, and then you have that happy thought, right? Think of that happy thought, and then you could fly, right? And I always think of my heart chakra, you know, and about how I can always tap into this at any moment. I feel gifted I can do this, but it's because I have that happy thought. Um, maybe this could be anything. It could be your love you know, for someone, family member, you know, 
you can be a child, you know, one of your children. Or so, um, you know, just something maybe you feel you had a moment in life that you felt love from someone, maybe that's passed away or someone that's still here. Um, I always have this thing or a moment where, if you don't mind, if I can share with you that, you know, I've had it with my grandma, you know, that passed. And, I, you know, unfortunately, I would only be able to get to know one specifically, and one still communicates with me, you know, and sends me guidance all the time. Well, actually, both of them do. One sends me my Native American background, my own guidance, and the other does with my Japanese heritage and bloodline. Um, but when that one was still here, you know, that was like the one that kind of like I really knew that was when someone that passed away, that was be the most, you know, breaking moment of my life. And of course, um, I haven't had that experience yet of like my parent actually died and I'm fortunate enough for them to keep on and keep it on with me. Um, but with my uh, Japanese grandma, my Obachan, like, I always felt like I have my happy thought. And like I can even get so happy that I can get emotional right now talking to you guys about her. But she's my happy thought, you know. And I have kids and I have a wife, you know. They're definitely my happy thoughts. But it's like my go-to happy thought, one above all happy thoughts. That, um, you know, anytime I'm in trouble, you know, or every time I even try to, like, even do my chanting or praying, you know, for my religion or whatever, um, or asking for divine help, I have my happy thought to do my heart center. So anytime I'm thinking about something profound or something beautiful or I want to tap into my heart, I always think about her. She's like my happy thought. Now, in my dreams, I've had, you know, I'm sure if I, you know, shared with you guys many times of you know, story times with Cosmic Ray, <laughs> you know, moments where I was unsure about my dreams or about my journeying or shamanic journeying, if you will. And, you know, with her, anytime something's bad, like say if it's just a nightmare, not like a, a night terror, not something, you know, or, or that's something that I saw maybe subconsciously through, like say a bad movie or something. And, you know, I, I always think about her. And in the dream, I immediately think about her, and it's like my power comes back. You know, anything that I felt that like something was gone or something bad happened to me in the dream, or I'm being chased or whatever it is, you know, or about to be killed by the murderer in the dream, you know, the villain. Um, she always comes to me. I always think of that happy thought, and that happy thought helps me to fly. That happy thought helps me become a superhero. And uh, that happy thought can uh, make me do anything and everything in this world. Anything that can create in my mind, that's that on that, like an artist to a blank canvas. All I need is that inspiration. She is that ins inspiration. And she's that, that one that I can just have that happy thought. And no matter what, I won't be defeated in my dream. So I encourage you all, if you have not already have done so, you know, try to find that happy thought. It could be a passion. It could be many things. You know, I just can't be the one to tell you. You know, just like, you know, uh, <laughs> just like Morpheus with Neo. You know, I can only show you the red pill and the blue pill. It's up to you to take it. It's up to you to walk through that door. And I can only just give you just little hints here and there. You, know, you have to come up with it yourself. That's what's. That's what makes it more powerful, more profound, more that it's going to work for your happy thought, and not something that you know. I am creating for you, you know, so please find your happy thought in life. That just not only helps in dreams, but helps in this, you know, I would say reality of life, this incarnation of life. You know, and you're able to tap in that heart chakra, you know, with, with that love. You, know, you can tap into that with other things too. You know, I don't like to, I don't want to get into those videos about how I can give you, that you can find power within you to be strong, just to conquer other things. And I know you're like, well, Ray, I'm, you know, Cosmic Ray, this might be something good. But people can use this stuff for bad things, for evil things, and I don't want that to happen. Um, so, you know, just right now, you know, find the happy thought. Find whatever it is in life. You know, try not to have it be too material, you know, because if materialistic things can go away, but you know, something that's just from the heart something that you can make you emotional something that like if this thing was gone you feel like you can cry eternity you know that uh, 
and no matter what happens in life, you know, say if um, we do, we would pass on, you know, if we get to go to back, you know, to um, source creation, to wherever where we started from. And all I really care about is that when I pass away, if love is still there, if I'm still physically incarnate, or if I'm just a spiritual being, or like a, like a ghost, or like just an orb of energy, you know, if I'm still within this realm or a different realm or back to the source, all I want to know is if there's still love. And because once you have this happy thought, if you tap it in that heart, no joke, like there's no way I can imagine anyone being defeated in this lifetime. So please, from me to you, I just want to send this out to the collective, um, to all my cosmic family, cosmic surfers out there. If you haven't already done so, please find your happy thought in life. I implore you and I hope that you will never be defeated once you find your happy thought in life. Wish you all love, peace. Don't let your dreams get the best of you because with your happy thought in life, nothing will be above you because you can always soar and fly above anything. You're already cosmic surfers, always getting up from every wave that or every hokusai tsunami crashing down upon you. You'll always get back up to ride the next wave because all our, our ride and journey in this karmic life, our cosmic reality of life, you know, it's always ongoing no matter what. And as long as we know that we have each other and we know that we're out there, you know, we know it's not just us going through this, okay? So happy thought, happy thought, happy thought. Sweet dreams, everyone. And I wish you all good night.